everyone, it's Mrs Force here from Mandarin Infant School. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be reading The Only Way is Badger. Deep in the forest, something wasn't right. Overnight a wall had appeared, and someone had covered the trees with strange posters. Badgers are best, pondered Beaver. Be more badger, puzzled Bear. Whatever does it mean? Everyone was confused, not for long. I'm only telling it like it is, said Badger. Everyone knows that badgers are best. Really, whispered the other animals. You sound so sure, muttered Moose, who must be right. Of course I'm right, being Badger. And as of today, I think you all need to make an effort to be a bit more Badger. Gosh. Hang on a minute, spluttered Deer. I'm only trying to help you out, Badger butted in. Look, I've made a list. Number one, can you dig like a badger? Ready? Dig, 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 dig. That's no good, said Deer. These hooves weren't made for digging. Evidently not agreed, Badger, and I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Leave? asked Deer. Badger nodded. No deer here, he chanted. No deer here. No deer here. I really think, started Moose. I agree, Badger interrupted. The wood's starting to feel more badgery already. Now, item number two. Badgers live in burrows, so if you can fit through the stool, then you can stay. Easy peasy, said the smaller woodland creatures as they skipped through the hole. Oh, I hope there's tea and cake. Poor moose and bad the bear there. But some got stuck. It's no use, mumbled moose. My bum's too big, bellowed bear. Sorry, guys, said Badger. You just don't fit, so bye bye, bear. Move along, moose. How rude! Outrageous! <clears throat> I don't like where this is going. Badger beamed at the remaining animals. You guys are doing great, he cheered. Now it's time for the best badger bark. So take a, take a deep breath with me. Bark! Yes! Achoo! Shriek! Badger shook his head. That was terrible! You sound nothing like badgers. I'm afraid it's time for you to hop off, hedgehog. Bunny, you're banned, and Beaver, you're a lever. The rest of you are in. Badger admired the black and white signs and the shiny black and white door and the raccoon and the skunk, both perfectly black and white. Ah, oh, fantastic, he sighed. And then he spotted the birds and the bugs and the butterflies. You're too colourful, Badger tutted. Scoop, skedaddle and vamoose, and he shooed them all over the wall. Hi guys, you're welcome over here. Hey, cried Roo, Coon and Skunk together. That's so, so much better, Butted and Badger. This place is badgery brilliant. But Coon and Skunk weren't so sure. Psst, get you out of here. Oh, it's much nicer over here. Grab a paintbrush, buddies, called Badger. Let's get painting. If it's not black and white, then it's just not right. Badger beavered away all day. Isn't this perfection, he smiled. But no one replied, because there was no one left but Badger. On the other side of the wall, there was colour and fun and laughter. Badger stopped. He was all alone. <laughs> oh dear, he sniffed sadly, and he painted one last sign. At last he understood that badgers aren't the best. Friends are the best. I think he learnt his lesson in the end that you need to be kind to all of your friends. I hope you've enjoyed our story and I'm looking forward to reading you another one soon. Bye!